好，第十七條咧講題目之前就要奉勸大家一句啦，小心閱讀題目啦。咁題目就問我哋啦，下面呢三款嘅細胞啦，邊一啲咧係能夠為一個木質嘅開發植物咧嘅葉啊？去提供一個支撐嘅能力嘅，咁呢個題目之所以陰濕咧，就係、是、咧有啲同學就淨係睇到個 woody， 就鬼揞眼睇唔到個 leaf， 咁所以咧佢有陣時揀答案咧就會揀得少咗啦。咁啊成條題目咧其實就係考我哋兩樣嘢嘅啫。第一樣咧，原來支撐能力咧係嚟自於 rigidity 硬淨嘅程度，同埋 turgidity 硬脹嘅程度，咁兩者當然係有分別啦。第二個要考我哋嘅呢，其實就係呢三款 cell 佢哋各自嘅功能啦。咁所以啦，睇返隔離塊葉咯，我哋有 xylem vessels 啦、gas cell 啦，同埋兩款嘅 mesophyll cells。咁我哋做一擊破啦。第一個呢，就講保衞細胞，其實啦，佢就只係控制到個氣孔開大定開細嘅啫。其實佢就冇 support 可言嘅。咁所以啦，一呢就已經係錯咗㗎啦。咁連帶到 B 同 D 呢，都已經錯埋啦。跟住啦，就去到 s y l o m v e s s e l 咯。咁啊，頭先啲題目都有講到啦 s y l o m v e s s e l 木質部嘅。咁木質部最基本功能啦，大家根據返頭先嗰幾條都知道啦，運送水同運送礦物質。但係除此之外啦，其實佢都係一款 thick wall cell， 佢個細胞壁零舍厚嘅。咁所以啦，佢都能夠提供一個 rigidity 啦。所以呢 s y l o m v e s s e l 係我哋其中一個答案嚟嘅，亦都不厭其煩提返大家啦。rigidity 同 turgidity 最大嘅分別呢，就係佢係唔關個 water con。平时嘅，无论你棵植物吸得多水定少水咧，佢都系咁硬净嘅。好，跟住啦，就去到 mesophyll cells 喎。咁啊，我哋分别有山状叶肉细胞同埋呢个海绵叶肉细胞。咁两款功能啦，攞嚟做下光合作用，我都仲记得嘅。但系啦，佢哋有冇其他嘅用处，例如攞嚟做个支撑咧？原来都得嘅。虽然佢哋嘅细胞壁系零舍薄啊。但係啦，當佢哋吸咗水嘅時候呢，其實都能夠提供到一個硬脹嘅程度，所以原來 mesophyll cells 都關事嘅。咁可能你會問啦，喂，兩歲啊，咁山狀葉肉細胞同埋海綿葉肉細胞，邊一款嘅葉肉細胞能夠提供到嘅？硬脹程度個 support 力量咧係高一啲㗎，咁當然啦，就係 p e l a s i t e 嘅 mesophyll cells， 佢哋本身呢已經係 tightly packed 㗎啦，咁啊起碼知道個特性先啦。咁再加埋佢哋一次過吸咗水夠硬脹嘅話呢，提供嘅支撐能力呢就會比海綿葉肉細胞呢為之高一啲嘅。咁所以啦，答案都顯然易見啦，就係二三 only 就係 C 啦。咁呢條題目就係當 MC 咁樣問啫。咁如果當普通短題目又點樣問你啊？咁啊要你講得返啦。喺塊葉嘅葉肉細胞，佢有咩嘅重要性，或者有啲咩嘅適應性嘅特徵呢？咁當然記得返啦，講 importance 又好，講嗰個 adaptive features 都好呢，就唔能夠呢，淨係講嗰個結構嘅。除咗講個結構之外呢，你都要講一講呢嗰個功能嘅。所以啦，你就要噏得出呢，究竟佢嘅。結構點樣幫助到佢進行某一個嘅功能啦？所以啦，你就唔單止咧，淨係講佢可以幫到手做光合作用啊！佢哋有好多 color plus 噶。除此之外啦，佢哋咧都會硬漲，去從而啦提供一個支撐能力。去到 spongy mesophyll cells 咧，由於啦佢哋擺得好疏疏落落嘅，咁啊容許到啲氣體咧有一個快速嘅擴散啦。Before we go into the question of seventeen, I would like to remind you that read the question carefully. Which of the following cell types contribute to the support of a leaf in a woody flowering plant? Most of the students they can read the word woody, but some of them may miss the key words the leaf in a woody flowering plant. So that's why we need to take a look at the leaf structure to determine which cell type can provide the support for the leaf. So the three structures, they are the gut cells, xylem vessels, and the mesophyll cells. Question is checking the concept about the support by rigidity and turgidity. It also checks the concept about the functions of the given cells and tissues. So let's take a look one by one. Gut cells. Can they provide the support? They cannot because the gut cells are present to control the opening and closing of the stomata. They cannot provide the support at all. So that's why number one is wrong, and then B and D they are eliminated. 
So for the silent vessel, most of you can recall that silent vessels they are responsible for the transport of water and minerals. Meanwhile, they can also provide the support because they are thick wall cell. They have the nickname to thicken the cell wall to make them hard and rigid. So that's why they can provide the mechanical support to the leaves. So for the last one, mesophyll cells. So you may recall that for the mesophyll cells, they are responsible for the photosynthesis. They cannot provide the support at all. Not really. Although they are thin wall cell, once they absorb water, they can still provide a turgidity, also a type of mechanical support for the leaf. So that's why number three is also correct. So that's why the answer will be two and three only C. And you may ask that, so for the palisade mesophyll cells and the spongy mesophyll cell, so which type of mesophyll cells can provide greater support by turgidity? So you will know that it should be the palisade mesophyll cells. They can provide a greater support by turgidity because they are tightly packed. All those tightly packed mesophyll cells, once they absorb water and then become turgid, so they can provide a greater support. For the spongy mesophyll cells, because they are so irregular shaped, so the arrangement of the spongy mesophyll cells is loosely packed. So even they absorb water, try to provide the turgidity, but the supporting force is not that great as the palisade mesophyll cells can provide. So for this question, which is a MC question, so how can we change it to be a short structural question? State the importance or the adaptive features of the mesophyll cells in the leaf. And I always remind you guys, once we talk about the importance and the adaptive features, so we need to relay the structure and the functions together. We shall know some more functions of the mesophyll cells, not only for the photosynthesis. Oh, they contain a lot of corpus, but also they can absorb water to provide turgidity, supporting force. And for the spongy mesophyll cells, they are loosely packed, so that's why it can allow the rapid diffusion of the gas.